What's up everyone, Games Apprentice back with another Steam Deck tutorial and this week I'm going to be showing you how to get the Rockstar Launcher on your Steam Deck, giving you access to a wealth of like, four games. Now to get this to work you need to have Proton and also a web browser installed on your Steam Deck. If you don't already have these things, check out my how to get the PlayStation Plus setup on Steam Deck video, look at the first couple of steps of that and then join me right back here. If you do, let's press on. Okay, so if you're here, you've got Proton and your web browser of choice installed. Now we need to download the Rockstar Games Launcher. Open up your web browser and type in Rockstar Games Launcher. Head to this page and click here to download it. Once that's finished downloading, head on to the next step. As the Rockstar Games Launcher is a Windows executable, we need to run it through Steam using Proton. So to do that, we need to first add it to Steam. So open up Steam and then click Add New Game. In the Add New Game, select Add Non-Steam Game. Click Browse and navigate to your Downloads directory. If you can't see the Rockstar's executable, then you need to just remove everything from the filter box. Select it and then click Open. Then click on Add Selected Programs. Head to your library and find the newly installed Rockstar Games Launcher. You can host a wealth of like four games. Right click it or click on the little cog on the right hand side and head to the compatibility tab. Click force and select the latest version of Proton that you've got. As you can see I'm using G Proton 8-4. If you've got something older than that and you do have issues, maybe you need to upgrade your Proton. Once done, click on play and that should launch the Rockstar Games launcher. Once it pops up, click on continue for language, unless you want a different language. Click continue, tick the accept and click continue. Choose where you want to install it and then click on continue again. And then Rockstar will install. You can now, once this is done, move on to the next step. So if you followed my Epic Games launch tutorial, you'll notice that this is all starting to look very familiar. So open up your file browser. So we need to head to the directory where Rockstar Launcher has installed itself. Now pay attention to this step because if you're gonna be installing any games and then playing those games, you're gonna to have to be repeating this step with each game that you install through the Rockstar Games Launcher. So you need to head to deck dot local share steam steam apps and compact data the dot local is a hidden folder so you might need to click on the burger and click on show hidden files and folders once you're in there it should look something like this depending on how many things you've installed it might just have one folder you might have lots if you do sort by and change to created and then just make sure that you're doing from the latest click into it and then go into PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, Desktop, and then you should see rockstargameslauncher.exe. Right click on it, and then click on Copy File Location. Head back over to Steam, and then go to the Rockstar Games Launcher, and go back into Properties, into the shortcut area. You want to paste everything that you just copied into the target box. You may need to put quotes at the start and the end. Do the same in the start in folder, but this time remove the Rockstar Games Launcher.exe part. Click play to launch it. I rename mine Launcher.exe, but you don't have to do that at all. Don't worry, this is still the same, same file. It'll take a while to start doing it, and then once it does, it'll start connecting to Rockstar, update the game's launcher, and then you can just sign in. It'll ask you if you want to scan for installations. If it's the first time you've installed this, just click on Cancel. And that's it. You've got Rockstar Games now installed on your Steam Deck. To play any of the games you install, though, you'll need to do the same thing you did in an earlier step, where you add that game to Steam, and then force it to use Proton. So that's it, another launcher installed on your Steam Deck. 
I hope this video has been helpful and don't forget to give it a like if it has and drop me a comment if you get stuck. In terms of how well these Rockstar games run on the Steam Deck, that'll be coming in a future video so don't forget to click subscribe for that and more Steam Deck recommendations and tutorials. I'm the Games Apprentice and hopefully I'll catch you next time.